Good evening, James McHale with ABC News. Public service workers are expected to take industrial action next week after rejecting a pay offer from the state government. The Community and Public Sector Union says the action could include stop work meetings and strikes. For more, I'm joined by Jade McMillan. Now, Jade, what was the deal that was offered by the government? Well, James, the government has offered public sector workers a pay rise of 2.5% each year for three years. Now, the community and public sector union wanted 4% each year, but says it is willing to compromise and settle at 3.5%. Uh, this agreement doesn't cover police, nurses and teachers. It does apply to about 40,000 workers, though, in the public sector in WA. Uh, the CPSU has described the offer uh, put by the government as inadequate and it's also pointed to negotiations with nurses last year. It says uh, they showed that the only way to get what its members want is by taking industrial action and that will happen next week. It's likely to involve uh, initially stoppages of different sorts across the metropolitan area at different times. We'll see how, uh, how it goes, what the government's response is, but our members are pretty committed to ensuring that there's an improved offer on the table. So, Jade, what about the government reaction? Is there any sign of a back down at this stage? Uh, no, the government has described its offer as fair and reasonable, especially considering uh, the state of WA's finances. The Commerce Minister, Michael Mission, says he's disappointed by this threat of industrial action. He says there's simply no room to move, though. It's consistent with the government's wage policy that it announced last year of keeping pace with CPI increases. The public sector has enjoyed some substantial increases in wages and salaries over the past several years and is now among the best, if not the best, paid at various levels uh, across Australia. Now, this isn't the only problem the government will have to deal with next week. Coincidentally, teachers have planned a strike for Tuesday over education cuts. Now, that could involve thousands of staff across the state and force the closure of some schools. A big week in industrial relations ahead. Jade McMillan, thank you.